Konami has made an announcement regarding Season 3 of eFootball24 and also gave us the information about the new features that will be added in this new season. So in this video, we'll be talking about all these new features as well as the release date of the Season 3 and also about the upcoming patch. So without wasting much time, let's head straight into the video. So with the new season, there will be new nominating contract pack, new match pass, new players might be added in eFootball Point Store, as well as there will be new campaign based on the theme of the season. Now talking about the release date and the new features that will be there, Season 3 update will be your version 3.2.0 update. And they have said that it is scheduled to be released in the month of December. So December exact date or I can say the predicted date will be 7th of December since season 2 is ending on 7th of December so season 3 will start on 7th of December. In this version 3.2.0 update Konami will be adding certain new features in the game. First one would be co-op player versus player event. P versus P event which is a player versus player event in which you'll be getting events for co-op mode. So for example uh, if you're not getting any friends to play co-op matches right now then when this event comes in you will be automatically given even uh, uh, players or your friends so that you can compete in that event. So if you are not finding friends to play in this co-op, then a great feature of co-op event player versus player is being added by Konami. Now talking about the next feature, renewal of contracts with GP. Earlier we were able to renew contract with 60 days of contract renewal tickets and 10 days of contract renewal tickets. But now after this version 3.2.0 update, you'll be able to renew the contract of players with GP. But the question is how much GP? That we'll get to do once the season 3 kicks off on 7th of December. The third feature that will be added in this version 3.2.0 update is your changes to the number of unskippable goal celebrations. So there will be certain unskippable goals, like goals that you can't skip in the match. So uh, the limit has been set to one per match. So in one match, you have to celebrate one goal. You can't skip that goal. So that will be made as a compulsory. Next feature that will be added in this update is eFootball League revamp. So as per this, they will be making certain changes in the way how eFootball League used to go on. The changes will be there, but they have mentioned us two changes. The first one is your matchmaking system. In previous eSports tournament of eFootball, official eFootball, there were many users were exploiting this matchmaking system to qualify for the main tournament. But now Konami has said that they'll be making certain changes in it as well. Also, they have said that they'll be expanding the rating system to cover more divisions. So it might mean like the way the points were being distributed in division as, as well as the other divisions might be changed so that they can add more divisions in the game. Mostly further details on these informations will be given in details on the launch date that is 7th of December. Another great feature that will be added in this update is Dream Team in Training. In the survey that Konami had conducted previously in the previous month, there was an option of this Dream Team in Training mode. So many had opted for that option and they have just included in this update itself. So now you'll be able to use your Dream Team which is your online team that you play in division games in training mode as well. Earlier you were able to do it with your authentic team but now after this update you'll be able to do with your dream team. Coming to the next feature that will be added is gameplay difficulty level adjustment. So this is basically for the AI level matches especially in superstar and legendary level where AI used to keep a lot of position of the board. So now they'll be making certain changes in the play decisions of the AI. So more information on these features as well as any more features that might be added will be given us in complete on 7th of December that is the release date of version 3.2.0. Also keep in mind that the pre-use of reset of progression point will be expiring on this coming Thursday which is the 30th of November. So after 30th of November in order to avail this feature you will be requiring GP. Last time also they had a deadline day but they had extended it last time because there were some changes in the game and this time let's see if uh, they have already uh, given us the deadline day hopefully they extend it because with gp it becomes very difficult right right now like gp is also becoming rare so they need to give us more ways to earn gp because now you'll be requiring gp for reset of progression point gp for contract renewal tickets if you don't have contract tickets and the amount of gp is becoming very less if you have if you had earlier then you will have but if you didn't have, you are trying to earn, it becomes difficult. Especially, I am also suffering with this. Skill tokens, legacy transfer, you require GP. So they need to give us GP via match pass or 
any other ways like more GP uh, methods to earn GP should be added in the game. I'm talking about uh, the very important campaign that might come or that will come 100%. Barcelona is a global club ambassador of eFootball. On 29th of November, they will be celebrating its 124th anniversary. And due to the partnership of FC Barcelona and eFootball, eFootball users might get some campaign related to this anniversary, which you'll be able to earn some items, or maybe some packs will arrive based on this Barcelona club. Date of this campaign we release might either be 30th. If it's not 30th, then it will be on 7th for sure. 7th is the release date of season 3. So at once they can give everything on, on the release date of season 3. Talking about the upcoming pack. Since we are left with only one week before the season 3 starts, there will be new legendary cards that will be added in the form of Epic or Epic Big Time game in this season 3 that we'll be getting to know on 7th of December itself. But before that, there is a one week left. Many epics that were added in season 2 are still pending or still uh, have not appeared in game. We have made a list of the packs that have not come and might arrive in this one week. Uh, that is left before the season 3 starts. So the first pack might be Italian League midfielders pack consisting of these players. Next might be National midfielders pack consisting of these players. Another one might be English League attacker players consisting of these players. The last one might be European Club Guardians pack consisting of these players. Lastly, I would be talking about a new feature that has already been added in game. Make your account more secure and safe from scammers. And the feature is none other than two-step verification code. Ami has automatically turned it on. No matter uh, you have turned it on by going to the settings or not, but two-step verification is on for everyone. Okay. The most important point in this would be Whenever you purchase any eFootball accounts, then you'll be required, you al always require Konami ID and uh, the password in order to open the game. But now you'll be requiring the Gmail as well as the password of that Gmail account in order to get two-step verification. So when you log in, you'll be getting a two-step verification code in the Gmail that is linked with this eFootball account. Always suggested not to buy, create your own account and just uh, edit in your ways. But if you buy, then you need to get these two details before purchasing any account with this we come to an end with all the details that we needed to give you regarding the season 3 update and all the informations that you needed to know i hope you found this video to be informative and then do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel ready takes off peace out